Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to me, Dave Pumphouse, and the last of the Mochikins campaign. It's turn eight. Well, what's been happening to our regiments? Well, I'll tell you what, we'll start with Griphook Ragnash and what he's doing. He has held his position. Actually, these guys need to now move up. I totally forgot about them. Now they're there. They're all at Fullerton. They're all waiting for their next orders from Griphook Ragnash, who is more than content to construct a small unit of tanks out of the scrap that was left by the uh, destroyed tanks of the 25th Hussars. And he also wants to thank his loyal and strong boar riders. And uh, he wants to turn them into, uh, like, a biker gang. Uh, so he wants to give them, like, track bikes. We said he could do that um, with, with the scrap left over. It's uh, certainly within the law of the orcs that, you know, if they think something up and cobble something together and believe that it works, then it will. So next time they meet Griphook Ragnash in battle, he's going to have... His boar riders replaced with motorbikes. Great stuff. Great stuff indeed. And he's also going to have some tanks as well, of course. And all the uh, lost equipment and uh, las guns and las rifles and stuff is going to upgrade his archer boys into shooter boys. Yep. He's been ushered into the 41st millennium. With great gusto, has uh, Grip Hook Ragnash. He's done a pretty good job. Uh, and he's definitely going to be a tougher opponent to defeat going forward. We've got the Sisters of Steel here. Have fallen back from their position in the Pell Power Mountains to the opposite bank of Pine Falls. They have evacuated Pine Falls from... Uh, with all the populace there and are content at digging in along the river. They have elected to send Company I under their disenfranchised general, Captain Junalata, to Fool's Tower, which they have discovered has less than 600 men. You'll remember that they were at Suda Key and were escorting civilians down here decided to act as a rear guard to save some time in a, in a fortified position and they're facing Horde 9 and Horde 8 of Mugzod Mad Chopper's dudes. About, uh, about 30,000 men uh, Mugzod Mad Chopper has coming down here. I have given the decision of the Sisters of Steel to land and help out or maybe even try and evacuate uh, the, the situation there. We'll, we'll have to see what the Sisters of Steel Colonel decides to do. Mugzod Mad Chopper himself, he's continued to go down to uh, the Great Tide River Falls, which uh, he'll be able to cross here, and then he'll decide where he's going to go. Third Brahagan Highlanders have decided to ditch their transports and go ahead on foot, which is probably the wisest thing to try and, uh, and, and protect Cornmouth. Maybe they'll, he'll even talk people into launching a counter-attack. Maybe. That would be something interesting to see if that does happen. The 5th Konig's Wingers, sitting at uh, Mills Ford, I've told them that they have not sighted any orc attack or any kind of... Uh, Hint at orcs on the opposite side of the river. Hopefully he might start to think that they're skirting around him. And maybe even fall back. Uh, but it, we could be at risk of having the 5th Konig's Wingers surrounded if Mugzod Mad Chopper comes through the falls and swings north. We have the PPs. Peregrisio Purgatonis, they're still at Sacra Wall. Still there, still rallying the troops. 
he's doubled the size of his regiment and he's decided to uh, promote some of the strongest warriors into holy knights. And he wants to lead them any way he can. Uh, whether he's going to go north or not, I don't know. But I know I was speaking with the first Jotunheim colonel as he learns that uh, four regiments are still south of the wall. He's like, why are they not in the battle space? Why are they not up here? Why can they not plug the line? But I must say, I'm quite proud of myself and uh, Skagbaz Teeth Chewer as they have certainly put the wind up. The Hindenlick to CNP, the 11th Land Unders, and the 6th Belliforns. Uh, a small force of 500 Orc Commandos are now pinning down three regiments. Maybe even a fourth if Orange decides to come down and help as well. We're going to see if he pulls out of the area and uh, goes back into hiding. And whether he'll pop up again in another turn or two. But uh, good old Gnome Chomsky has managed to get out a message to Teeth Chewer, giving him basically a map of where everybody is and what he's facing. So maybe, maybe he'll scutter off somewhere. We'll have to see. Uh, meanwhile, down here, we have the Major from the 11th Land Unders has found his, his sway at uh, Failwell Port. Uh, we left that uh, sitting there for a, a few turns. But he's awaiting orders to see if he's going to be ordered to, over to Leperton to hunt down this AWOL captain. Um, it's funny because I've, I kind of put that in there to give them something else to do if uh, if was needed uh, because the captain of course is a gene stealer has managed to uh, find his way into the ranks and work his way up and has found an opportunity to lose himself in the population and maybe start a uh, an infestation of tyranids gene stealers and, and what have you I, I, over here um, but I think, I think that's all. Oh yes, we have the Company E captain of the Sisters of Steel. Or oh, was it the Jotunheims? No, it was the Jotunheims, wasn't it? Yes, the Company E captain of the Jotunheims has woken up. He's a secret psyker, and he is he's mumbling some some words. Uh, but up here, unfortunately, we've we've lost contact with. Um, the commander of the Amplexus Pathfinders. He hasn't been online for a few days, but we've had to continue the game anyway. He hasn't given many orders, but what we've decided to do, we've decided to act for him. So what's happened is, of course, the crash site was here. On learning of Orc activity, they obviously didn't want the craft to be captured, so they blew it up. So we've had a nuclear explosion over here. And hopefully he gets the message and then starts wanting to move out. Either to engage across now the nuclear wasteland that is this lot. And uh, either yeah, either engage the orcs or, or pull out down south. We don't know. Uh, we said that one horde could be afforded to... Uh, create ships as they've been ordered a few turns ago now by uh, Mugzod Mad Chopper to come down to St. Arbor and that's that's it so we'll have to we'll have to see what happens but I think the star player for me at the moment is Skagbaz Teeth Chewer yeah, he's doing exactly what he was designed to do. Work behind the lines and tie down as many people as he could from reaching the north. He's put the wind up and they're like, oh, orcs are down here. My God, we've got to hunt them out. But of course, there's, there's only 500 of them. You know, you could, it's, it's a textbook kind of 
insurgency mission that Skagbaz Chief Chua is, is conducting. We'll have to see what happens there. It's exciting. It's exciting times. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's getting there. I mean, I think maybe by turn 15, turn 20 even, we would, uh, we, we'd be able to resolve the game. I, I think we're halfway there. We've probably got a few more battles to go. Um, and, uh, yeah, we, you know, we're going to try and get as many battles as we can in. But, I mean, if people aren't going in the right place, they're just not going in the right place. Such is the fog of war with people sometimes. Um, we have tried to encourage the Imperial troops to maybe talk to one another a bit more. Stuff is getting a bit lost in translation. But that's maybe to be expected when you're dealing with a hundred different companies and ten different regiments all in their different places and ten different minds experiencing ten different things but yeah someone someone has to get a hold of them but yeah that's it for me we'll see you in turn nine uh we're going to maybe see if there's going to be a battle at falls tower um i don't think we're going to have any battles with uh skagbaz yet although i did design a map but i read the orders for company d wrong i thought they were heading up north but then there was an addendum and he said, no, I want him to stay at Therapia. Wise move. Wise move from the 6th Bethlehem commander there. Otherwise, they would have got uh, caught in a map that I created and trying to basically get, get, those, uh, get those vaccines up to, up to the wall. <laughs> I should add that Company C of the 5th College Swingers has discovered an old drainage ditch, which is uh, what we were using for the Gretchens to move through without being seen to be passing messages along. So Skagbaz Teeth Chewer is now effectively going to be out of communication with the rest of the army. They won't know what's happening south anymore. So that that's what's going to happen. He's all on his own, but he's doing a great job. See you on the next one, everybody. Ciao for now.